Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Alexa, tell tabletop audio to play Forest. So you come to a cold mountain lake enclosed by misty woods and rocky bluffs. Thick fog creeps across the dark, still waters. The trail ends at a grass-covered causeway that stretches 100 yards across the lake to a flat, marshy island with a stone tower on it. The tower is old and decrepit, with collapsing scaffolds clinging to one side where a large gash has split the wall. Time-worn griffin statues, their wings and flanks covered with moss, perch atop the buttress that supports the walls. Parked near the base of the tower, within sight of the entrance, is a barrel-topped wagon spattered with mud that looks oddly familiar. Hey, that wagon looked oddly familiar. Oh, it does look oddly familiar. We're friends again. Uh, I guess we'll go up to the wagon. Wagon. Okay. And like knock. I'm going to knock. Um, okay. As you guys get closer to the tower, uh and to the wagon, you knock on and you see under layers of mud, this wagon sports actually a coat of fresh purple paint and its wheels have fancy gold trim now. A brass lantern hangs from each corner, and a red uh, drape cover a, covers a tombstone-shaped <laughs> window on each side, as you would know. Uh, and there is a steel padlock that secures the back door, hanging from which is a cheap wooden sign that says, Keep Out. I'm going to take the butt end of the safe and just do do. It's quiet. Can we see inside at all? The drape is on the inside, so it's kind of covering the... She doesn't like when we, like, just barge in to stuff. Dirt, you think you could message her? I just... <laughs> I can certainly try, um, and you see him concentrate. <sighs> Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> I'm not, like... You got this. And I pat him in the back and cast guidance. As you do, nothing happens. You yeah, alright? It's... Usually there's, like, a thing happens and I'm, like, I can... It's, it's not working. It's not working. Yeah. Can I try and cast Eldritch Blast? Just, just... Sure. One As I... you put your hand out and you're, like, in the air, you see it kind of flicker, and it goes, tch, 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 and the spell just dispels. So no magic. I go ahead and swing my axe to see if it's still swinging. <laughs> it swings. <laughs> uh, I want to look around the area, see if there's anything, any uh, like tracks or just something to. As far as the the like the tower or the, the tower wagon? and also the the cart, I want to see if we know that she went inside. Or... And I will assist him on that. You can go ahead and roll at advantage because shards helping you. Two. Yeah. Eleven. Uh, I mean, you're looking around, and it looks like it just got a new fresh coat of paint and it's been traveling. You don't really see any, um, like, of her footprints. You see, like, a mess of them, but you see them, they kind of go out in all different directions. Everywhere. Can I get on top of the wagon? Make a, a dex truck to see if you can climb up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, fourteen? Fourteen. It takes you a little bit, but you're able to kind of... I kind of want to, and I want to look from up top to see if I can see her anywhere. Go ahead and roll uh, investigation see if you can find her. Fifteen. Kind of can't really see anything in the brush in the fog. I'll hop down. Okay. So maybe Is she's inside. like a front door that we see? To, to, the, to, to the wagon? To the, no, to the tower. Yeah, there's a front door. I'm gonna go up to the front door. Okay. Uh, the tower door is made of iron with no visible handles or hinges. In the middle of the door is very large embossed symbol. A connected series of lines with eight stick figures set around it. Carved into the lintel above the door, the word is Kazan. K-H-A-Z-A-N. And then this is above the door. I remember she said that she's one of the only people that knows how to get through the tower. Going in seems like a bad idea, but our options seem kind of limited. Does anyone know what this symbol is? You're all looking at this and you're like, I have no fucking idea what this is. I would like to persuade the door to open. Okay. Hey, door, please open. Oh, you're just rolling persuasion? For persuasion, yeah. Okay. 21. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so this is above the door? This is on the door. This is on the door. Mm -hmm. Kind of like run my fingers along it to see if anything... Sure. As you touch the door, I need all four of you to make a deck saving throw. If you're wearing armor made of metal, disadvantage. Uh, 13. 11. 15. 24. You guys make it. You guys unfortunately fail the save. So, uh... You two take 22 points of lightning damage, and you guys take 11. As you guys are kicked back. No. As no lightning way. envelops this 80-foot tower. Damn it, Doc. Sorry. Oh, be nice. Oh, oh God. God. 
Oh. <coughs> Holy shit! No, no, we know. Can Don't, we... This out. Don't touch this door. Don't touch anything. No, I just kind of want to go around the tower and look for Esmeralda. Are you guys doing anything while he's looking around the tower? Um, also looking around, I want to see if there's not anything we can scale, but like a like a trap door or anything around. Around the tower? Yeah, if there's like a basement way to get in or something around that seems off. Okay. Anything else you guys are doing? I'm going to chart push the cart. You're going to push the cart? Yeah, just like kind of shake it. We'll get to that. <laughs> okay, yours isn't really working. As you're kind of like... 13. 13, you're moseying around. You you kind of don't see any like other kind of trackways around the, the tower. You you kind of see like where she'll go in or someone's gone in and goes out of the, the front door, but you don't really see anything as far as like other kinds of footprints where she might have deviated off with. And very similarly, you only see that there's one way into this tower and it's through that door. How hard you rock in the uh, the wagon? I'm just kind of like giving it like a little shake to try and see if she's in there. So just kind of like a... Like a jostle? Yeah. Okay, roll a perception for me. But Twelve. You kind of hear things like kind of like sloshing and move around and you're like, that's weird. But you don't hear her. She yeah. has a bunch of holy water. She in there. did have a bunch of holy water in there. It's either filled with holy water or water. Oh, so water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to open it. Check for traps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, nat 20. You're kind of... Moving around, looking around. Uh, obviously, you have the front door. You kind of like position yourself, and you kind of like look under it, and you could see the faint, faintest trap door under it. Just because I'm curious, sure. I'm, I kind of want to see like how close to this tower magic doesn't work, and I'm just gonna keep casting light as okay. I'm walking away from it, as and you get... trying to like count my paces to okay. see distance. You, you get about thirty feet from where the wagon is. So kind of like yeah. Well, I let them know that there's a trap door. If Doc, is Doc still here? Uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm, like farther away, I'm farther away, but... I know what you're thinking. What am I thinking? <laughs> having, having him cast Bless for you? No, I was thinking hold up the cart just in uh, case it falls. I wonder if I cast Bless out of range of this place. If it, carries, is uh, range. if it carries over with you or if it fizzles out as you come in. I don't know. Hold on. One sec. I, I, run away, I run out to wherever the range is. Sure. And I cast my, um, I cast Minor Illusion. Okay. And then I walk back in. And I want to see if it goes away. It does. Nope. Oh, good to know. Well, if you guys just want to hold this this thing up just in case. I'll help. So yeah. explain to me what we're doing. We're, they're hoisting it up. Just in case, like, there is some sort of trap where it falls. I just want them to be there so I'm not squished. Okay. So you, they're just holding it like this. They're not like. Yeah, we're not lifting it. No, anything. not tilting But we're prepared to if okay. it falls, catch the weight. Okay. So I want to slowly open the, the door, the trap door, just At to the see bottom. if anything's in there. Okay, go ahead. Roll your, your block picking. Oh, 12. I mean, it gives you, it takes you a minute, but you, you're able to kind of unlatch it. So then, like, creak it open. <clears throat> I just want to look inside. Just, like, eyes. As you kind of, like, peek up, there's a carpet under it, so you got to kind of, like, move the carpet. Uh, and you see rigged on where the front door is. You see a very long piece of wire that is connected to a... Um, it looks to seem to be a flask that has kind of like the faintest little flame next to it and connecting to it. Uh, it's dangling over about a um, hundred more of those little, like these little flasks that are around it. And it looks to be some kind of trap. If someone was going to open the door, this is going to explode if we shake it. So don't <laughs> fucking shake it. Good thing. I was gentle for once. Okay. Well, I'm out from under there <laughs> and I'm kind of backing up. I don't know this woman. So does she normally have it? things like this that she's booby trap stuff yeah or? yeah she's very secretive she's also only got one leg so don't let that weird you out that's why we called her peggy oh uh, i just got it hey. and carlos just got it too <laughs> <laughs> ah. can i take a second look i'd if like to want. take a second look if you want to <laughs> very like subtle look a very ginger, a very safe gingerly look. Ginger look is 15 enough I mean, so it's kind of like angled like this, where your head's peeking out here, so you can't see what's behind you. You definitely see the trap. You would have to get out of it to see if there's anything behind it. Who has shiny armor? Rufio. Dirt does as well. Rufio or Dirt, can I get a piece of your armor? I want to see more inside. There's, I can't see behind the door, but with a mirror. I'll take off like an arm. A forearm, and I'll yeah. Hand it to him. Thank you. So I go back and I use and I kind of put that up mm -hmm. so I can see behind me. Uh, roll perception at disadvantage. Eight. You kind of can't really see everything. Everything's kind of garbled. It's like when you look at a spoon and you look at yourself and the, and the back of a spoon, it's just kind of like warped. You can't really get a gauge of anything. Plus your arms are a little short, so you're like, oh. Well, I can't see anything. Well, did you try to go inside? We have someone who can drag your body all the way over and like bring you back once. 
But there has to be a body left. Like it's a lot of fire. Okay, I'll try to disarm the trap. How many bottles are down there? There's at least a good 40, 50. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, new plan. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to start taking them out one by one. It'd Bye. still be a disabled trap check. For, and then <laughs> okay. if you want to do it individually, it'd be 50 times we'd have to do it. You're right, that's a bad idea. Why don't we try saying the word that we saw? <laughs> the k- 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 Kazan. Kazan. K- Maybe that's k- like a magic k- word. K- so which door? The coach or the door? Yes. I need a, I need a, a definitive choice. I'm going to say it to the cart. Nothing. Fuck it, I'll do it. You're going to run up to the tower <laughs> and say Kazam? Run up to the tower, tower and say Kazam. You say uh, Kazan and nothing kind of happens? You doing anything else while you're, you're, ar- you, like, you're just kind of standing there? I'm going to have my shield up at the ready to defend in case, but... Okay. As ready. you do that, you see the seal kind of like burn... <laughs> And then you hear a rumbling, and you're like, oh, no. Oh, shit. And all of you hear this. From the top of the tower, you hear a very loud... <laughs> as you look up and... Roll initiative. Uh, oh, my God. God. There is a blue dragon that <laughs> crushes down. Help and in them. the dungeons, bitch. Dragon time. Okay, 15 and above? 20. 10 and above. 14. 10. And Apsity's 11. Fuck, you're up first. So this thing just landed behind me, right? And um, it's like... Oh, oh. Um, and it's blue. Gonna hold my action. Okay. Until it decides <laughs> to um, be hostile and come at me. Okay. But I'm gonna be like, nice dragon. Okay, what are you holding? Just like a smack? Uh, to hit with my mace. Okay, noted. Short. Holy shit. I'm gonna rage and run in. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, big guy? Since you I came a- into the side, I have more movement, so... Sure. You have another attack. That is a natural 19. And a crits. And a crits. Hits and crits. 22 points of damage. 22. <laughs> Does it do any additional... Is it a plus axe? Uh, give me plus one on the attack. Okay, so that fades. 21. 21. And it wails as you lay into the, the side of this blue dragon... And as you pull out the axe, he looks at you, and it is his turn. <laughs> Yay! The dragon is gonna turn to shark, and it's gonna <laughs> attack you, attack you with his claws and his teeth. Does twenty-three hit? Yes. Okay, that's the bite. So we're gonna do the bite first. Uh, so you take twenty piercing, so you can have that to ten because you're raging, Whoa. and then you take because it's his bite. You take five points of lightning damage. So we'll do the claw attack now. Does the twenty-six hit? Supposedly. Okay, that's one hand. Twelve. That doesn't. That is 12, had to have to six. As you see this, these two uh, claws come at you, you're able to dodge one, but while dodging, this other one just scrapes across your chest. And that'll be it for our dragon friend. And Dirt's gonna go, I'm pretty ranged, man. I don't, uh. Magic doesn't work here, Dirt. He takes out his Morningstar. I am gonna stay here and not do anything. And if I stay really still, maybe it won't get me. I wanna live to see 13. So close. Like so close. A few weeks. So close. Like, maybe like two. Jot that down. <laughs> Rufio takes out a notepad and literally writes it down. So, uh, it is Absidy's turn. Um, I'm going to yell to get, get lure the dragon to the cart. So I tell everyone to get to the cart, and I take as many steps back as I can. Uh, and with my, my cunning action, I'm going to take the alcohol that he made, mm-hmm. rip off a bit of clothing, and mm-hmm. make a Molotov cocktail. My bonus action... Assuming everyone can get away, mm-hmm. and the dragon is close, I will light it with my tinderbox and blow it up. Uh, Rufio, you're up. Holy shit! So, Absidy said run away. I-, I guess I will, like, put dirt under my arm. Okay. And run run the 30 You're gonna feet. start cheese it? Yeah, start I'm gonna go it. this way, though. Like, okay. To the left. Mm-hmm. And I want to, in Draconic, uh, tell the dragon that we're not hostile. If you want to move Rufio yeah, over. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just yelling at the dragon in Draconic. It's, we're not trying to attack anyone. We're, we're not friends. trying to attack anyone. Uh, fuck, you're up. They can't leave. Right. <laughs> Chomping they at. They can't leave Shart. Shart. I know I'm going to take an attack. It's going to lash out with its claw. And I'm going to say, come at me! And just like wave my hands. 13 doesn't hit, correct? No. So you feel it scrape across the back of your, your armor as you're like, okay! And you're just yelling at this thing. I'm just going to start insulting it. He's like, really? That's all you got? Come on, bitch. Right this way. Okay, Shart, you're up. 
guys, do we have a plan? Uh, run. Absidy said to lure it towards the cart. Then in that case, I will disengage and go towards the cart. I say to hang out at the cart. <laughs> well, we have to lure it. So I know, somehow. I know. As you're screaming at it, like, hey, hey, over here, over here. You see it kind of like peer and it looks at it and it sees that the other three have bolted. Fucking and you see its ugly. eyes. And we're going to make them go up. And you see it take off and it beats its wings and you see. Whoo, whoo, and you see it inhale. And you see lightning start crackling from its mouth. I need a deck save at disadvantage. So, Absidy, you take 28 points of lightning damage. 28? As you dodge it. Halved? Luckily, Dirt made his save, so he also takes 28 points. Review you take 55 points of lightning damage. I am bugging down. Wow. <laughs> this is fucked! And it is Dirt's turn. And so Dirt's gonna look at you like, help me, help me get him, drag him, drag him! And he's gonna slowly start trying to drag Rufio out of the, the bubble. You see him and he's starting to make leeway. He's making it at least a little bit over a hundred. So his legs are just still in the bubble, but the rest of his body's in there. And then it is, yeah, it's Ab City's turn. So we're just gonna run, right? I'd swaha. Okay, so I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna run over here. I guess, okay, now's the best time to do it. Uh, cunning action, I'm gonna drink the potion of okay. frost giant strength. Yeah, okay. So my strength is now 23 for an hour. Oof. So we're so gonna try to pick six. him up. Dirt's helping. Okay, so, so you can do it at advantage. Advantage. 13. 13. So you guys are able to manage, so you're There's still dragging six. him. I would say, Rufio, make a, a death save for me. Seven. Seven, okay, so put Mark down for death. Fuck. Uh, okay, well, gluring it to the cart is not working, so I'm gonna run that way. We're now, like, way off, right? Mm-hmm. That's as far as I can get. And Shark, you're up. Uh, my rage has ended. I guess I'm just going to continue to run as well. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then I will then dash, which will give me an additional 40 feet. I'll stand guard on them while they try and get Rufio up. Okay. All right. It's Blue's turn. So you see it kind of fixes his eyes, and it's still fixed onto the group there. So you'd be about like 50, 60? Or okay. 140, so he would be 125. He flies over. And he lands. And he's gonna try to bite you, Shart. Uh, 19. 19 hits. So you take 11 points of slashing. I mean... So you got the... That is slashing, and then he's gonna come at you with... You know what? He's gonna grapple you. We'll do strength checks. Do a strength save, I'll do a strength save. 26. 26. So you're able to, like... You're starting to fight this off as its claws are starting to dig into your sides and your, your shoulders. Um, as it tries to grapple you, but it's not working. It's Dirt's turn. He's gonna pump uh, ten lay on hands in you, Rufio, as you come up. Oh god, that hurts. And you're so like, bad. Just, z, 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 z. you're not doing good with the lightning. Absidy, you're up. Everyone's up now, yeah. right? Just fucking run, <laughs> right? We're, we're how many feet away? One forty. Rufio, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna look around and just go, "What are we doing?" <laughs> and as you do that, you see Absidy go pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. We god. can't outrun it. But do we want to fight it? We don't have a choice. <laughs> I'll, I'll put dirt behind me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to look up at the dragon and in Draconic just say, we need Van Richten's help. We're trying to destroy Strahd von Zarevich, and we can't do it without him. We're friends of Van Richten and Esmeralda. Please. Oh, and I'll also have the Staff of Frost, and I'm going to be standing there Ready like that. Go. Okay. Fuck. What do I do? Then I'll just use my movement and action to be on opposite of Sharp. Shark, what are you doing, buddy? Well, I'm going to re-rage. How big is it? So, young dragons, I believe, are large. I am going to try and grapple it. If Shark grapples a dragon, I might need <laughs> my pants. 25? You got a 20, yeah. So you're able to grab his neck, and you're, like, putting your elbow on top of it, as he's, like, thrashing. So, Rufia, as you're talking to him, yeah, he's starting, he's, like, getting distracted, but he's still snapping at Shark, and then Shark just puts him in a fucking headlock, and we'll see if he breaks it. Go ahead and roll another strength uh, check for me. 18. He's latching and scratching out. I'm going to have him try to hit you, but it's going to be a disadvantage with his arms. 14 hit? Yes. 20 hits. Okay. So he's going to scratch you up a little bit. Gross. So, uh, 13. 13. Slashing as he's thrashing around and snarling. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move now. I'm gonna move now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna move to where Absidy is. Maybe we can try to lure it. So Dirt's gonna move 10, 15, move him there. So he'll use his action to dash. So we'll do another 30. And then uh, Absidy, it's your turn. I love that Molotov. I don't even know what to do. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna take ball bearings and throw it at him. Okay, you're trying to distract him. 
Yeah, just trying to get him over here, but without Because you can see him struggling, and he's... Shark's getting, like, he has a good grip on it. Actually, when he hits, can you do a concentration check, see if you break it? Ugh, nine. Nine, okay. So you see that Shark is not able, really grasping on too hard. Arguably, you could do the ball bearing to see if you can distract him. And would that help him maintain the... It wouldn't help him maintain the concentration, but it might it might move him to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a couple steps closer to the cart and then shoot him to distract him. Yep. 23. 23 hits. Do your arrow damage. 10, 15, 17, plus 4, 21. Good hit. Rufio, you're up. Oh, wait. Uh, can I just use a potion real quick? Uh, sh- As my, yeah, my it's a bonus action. action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go for it. I'm going to look at Thok. I'm going to be like, I need you to do that thing. I'm going to swing wide, mm-hmm. come out here, stand here, look at the dragon, mm-hmm. and look at Shart, and be like, you're going to need to move. And I'm going to hold Cone of Cold. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm holding for him to cast Path to the Grave. And as soon as he does that, I want to do Cone of Cold. All right, Doc, it's your turn. I'm going to uh, hold my action to cast Path to the Grave. Mm-hmm. Uh, Channel Divinity for one sharp move. Oh, he's grappled, right? So he can't attack if he's grappled? Yeah. I'm going to move in that direction to 20 feet. Sharp. You're up with the dragon. Okay, so since I'm on its back right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and kick out at the back of its head and run in this way. Roll an uh, athletic check. Come on, 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 come on. 23. 23? So you just, you kick back and you you bolt. That first one would be my action, wouldn't it? Yes. So that's as far as I get. Doc. All right, when that happens, I point my mace at it, and I use my channel divinity, Path to the Grave. Mm-hmm. Um, for any of you that don't know this, uh, Path to the Grave is my uh, Grave Cleric uh, channel divinity that gives vulnerability to the creature mm-hmm. anytime the next attack that an ally does to said creature. So, so you're going to make a con save okay. of 15. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cone of Cold. Cone of Cold. So I have... 6, 9, 15, 18, 26, 40. It, but it's vulnerability, so it's that times two. So it's 80 right 80. Now. Yeah. So as you cone of coldness, you start seeing flecks of its skin flying off. And he had lakes out this hellacious roar. He's just completely solid in a block of ice as there's spikes going out to the side. And it's... So he's dead. He's at zero. And Rufio's just going to kind of fall to the ground. Sorry. Holy <laughs> shit. He start to come back and regroup what's your uh, perception 17 17 okay what what's everyone else's passive perception 11. 11? i think mine's 12. okay so as you guys are like fuck you you can pretty much hear a loud crack in the ice you hear <laughs> oh, sh- oh no shit i don't think it's done yet and then slowly but surely you start seeing like the skin like pecking off from the skin of the dragon as it is now Nothing but bone and decay, and you get the smell of death on it. It's, it's like, <laughs> fuck. So is it still in the block of ice? <laughs> it is broken it out of the block the of ice. <laughs> fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, Back to plan A. Blow it up. Uh, I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians on myself. Okay. So now uh, you're going to see like jackals flitting around me in a 15 foot radius. That's dope. And I'm going to run straight towards it. So you need to make a wisdom save. Wisdom save. DC 15. Nine damage. Um, your movement is halved uh, while you're within my fear of influence. Sharp. Should we go towards it or should we try and get it to the thing? To the cart? Get it to the cart. If I run in on it, would I be able to flank Thok? Yeah. I would say you have enough. Flank position, I'm going to rage again, and I'm just going to attack. That's a 23, and that is a modded 20. Both hit. And 17 is the first attack's damage, and then the second attack, 20 damage. 20 damage. Okay, <laughs> uh, I need uh, Thok and uh, Shark to make wisdom saves. 18. Um, and I rolled a 10. You are uh, frightened. Here and he's going to... And he is going to... Shoot up. So uh, we're going to do about 30 feet up. Do I have an attack of opportunity? Sure. I'll give it to you. Uh, roll a one and a two. It's up. And then he's going to move and fly over to... And he's going to stay up. Scream. And now we have Dirt's turn. Dirt's like, uh, I'm going to... Is that to you? 
To me. I'm bringing it to you. So he's gonna go right to where Absidy is, and he's gonna have his Morning Star out, and he's gonna be ready to stab if he needs to. <laughs> Absidy. Yeah. So I'm going to run past the cart. Okay. Then I'm gonna shoot at him again <laughs> mm -hmm. with my bow. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. Ten points of damage. Ten points. Okay. So I still have bonus. I still have cunning. Bonus action. I'll take another potion. Mm -hmm. How's dirt? Dirt's kind of banged up, but he's not like as bad as like say Shart or Rufio. I'll take one potion. I'll just toss the other one to him. Okay. So it's a it's near him. Rufio, you're up. So I'm gonna pop up. <laughs> oh god, I have no idea what the fuck to do. I'm gonna just kind of look at everyone mm -hmm. and be like, this might be it. And I'll turn and look at the dragon, and I'll grab the frost staff again, yeah. and I'm going to cast Ice Storm okay. on him. It's a dex save of 15. Creature takes 2d8 bludgeoning damage and 4d6 cold damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. 12, 16, 19, 24, 32 points of damage. Then Rufio is... <laughs> Oh, he's gonna cry. Oh, well, that was an attack. I can attack again, right? Mm -hmm. I'll Eldritch Blast. That is a 12. 12 does not hit, no. Yeah, and then Rufio kind of just... I want him to look completely at peace. Okay. If this is it, this is it. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Fuck, buddy. You're up. So I'll move five feet to Shart, and I'm gonna cast Life Transference. I <laughs> sacrifice some of my health to men and other creatures' injury. I take 8d8 necrotic damage. Mm -hmm. Whoa! But you heal twice whatever damage I take. I right. take 11 damage, you heal 22. Shit. And you see him, and you see part of like his essence kind of leave Thok as it slowly creeps up Shart's uh, shoulders and enters. You start, like your eye starts opening up and your wounds start healing a little as Shart, it's your turn. Well, I'm gonna start uh, running towards towards the wagon, I'm trying to think of anything else that I can do, because the most I can do from here is throw a hand axe. So yeah, I'll throw a hand axe. Is 17 to hit? 17 doesn't hit. Okay, uh, so then I'll go ahead and use I'm my second hand axe. Here. Nope, doesn't hit. See, and they just kind of careen over this dragon as it's beating its wings. And you see him, and he kind of careens his head over to where Shard, or not Shard, sorry, Absidy is. And he's going to fly over and try to hit you. And he is above you. And you see... And actually, with his five feet, he gets up to 25 feet. And he's very close. So we'll do it at disadvantage. 17. Hits. Okay. 17 was the lowest he rolled. Uh, okay. So 17 points of slashing damage as both claws kind of reach out and slide. Like, slash against your, your sides. It is Dirt's turn. And Dirt is going to... He's going to try to get... As far away as, as possible. So he's 30 feet. He's like, Absidy, you're doing it. You're believing. <laughs> Absidy, you're up. Okay, it's time. Bonus action, disengage. Gonna move 25 feet away. Is there anything for me to shield myself? Like a pedestal? No. Okay, so I'm 25 okay. feet away. So I want to use my action to throw the Molotov cocktail. And then my bonus action to dash further in here. I roll a roll an attack check. See if you can chuck it that far. Oh. What is it? Nat 20. So <laughs> as you see, oh my god. Absidy's like, you, get away from her, you bitch. Just alien Ripley. You see, boom, and everything slows down. As you see, Rufio, you're all looking at this Molotov cocktail as it crashes through the window. And it, there's a second, there's a pause where you're all like, and then you see, let's see how much damage it was. I have to use a phone. <laughs> <laughs> how many D D8s are there? We'll talk about it off. I'm going to let you take like half of this. Oh, but I'm, I'm all the yeah, way he, here. You're all the way over there? Yeah, okay. I moved an extra. I'm 50 feet away. Okay, so there is a deafening crash as you see this fucking giant wagon just go up in flames and completely decimates this dragon. Um, you see the bones kind of flare up and it turns into this dust as it dissipates. Uh, and you all have, you're all deaf for the next hour. Because <laughs> it's so loud. What? And as, as the flames start and there's this smoldering mass, fuck, you see this. And you see this young woman with like fish in her arms with a prosthetic leg and she's looking and she goes, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and we'll end it there. Oh, oh my God. God. <sighs> Good.